Hey everyone! Welcome to the Easy Forex Pips YouTube channel. Today's video will be a little different. Recently, I have come across a trend. A trend of a new AI-based trading view indicator made by ChatGPT called Machine Learning is taking the trading world by storm. It's going viral on YouTube and other social media platforms. So I decided to give it a try for myself and my viewers, of course. So, I asked ChatGPT to give me a trading strategy to turn $100 into $10,000 in the shortest amount of time possible. But, it has given me generalized advice on trading as aspected. And of course I wasn't satisfied. I needed something more specific, something more useful. Then, again, I asked to create the ultimate trading strategy using an AI-based trading view indicator in Pine Code. It has given me some generalized risk management advice and an example indicator written in Pine Code. <coughs> Which doesn't work. Then I found a trading indicator by Capissimo that worked like a charm. Of course, I had to make a few adjustments and add two more additional indicators to make it work for us. For this trading strategy, I'll use a combination of three free trading view indicators and explain how each of them works as I go along. Our first indicator is the machine learning KN-based strategy by Capissimo. It will be the main indicator and we will add two more additional indicators called the EMA ribbon and the RSI indicator later to filter out as many false signals as possible. By using these three indicators together, we can create a more comprehensive trading strategy that helps us identify high probability trades and minimize false signals. By the end of this video, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use the indicators to improve your trading carrier drastically. And also I'll be testing this strategy using the price of GBP, JPY on a 5 minute time frame. Let's dive right into it. First thing first, open up tradingview.com website and select the currency pair. I'll set my time frame to the 5 minutes. You can say any time frame you like. So, let's add the first indicator to our chart. Head over to the indicators tab and search for the machine learning KN based strategy. Select this one by Capissimo. Apply it to our chart. Now this is how it looks. Before moving into how it works, I want to mention a couple of things about this indicator. KN is a classification algorithm that determines the class of a data point based on its nearest neighbors in a feature space. In the context of trading, KN can be used to predict the direction of future price movements whether a stock price is likely to go up or down based on its historical data. So, the way this indicator works is pretty simple. It basically prints blue and pink labels, which indicates buy and sell signals, and a label may have lower or higher opacity depending on the strength of the signals. And please note, to confirm a signal you should wait until the candlestick close. Now, let's try out couple of signals. Here we can see a bright blue buy signal. If we had trade this signal, we would have made some amazing profit. Here is a sell signal. This one was also a huge success. But as we can see it produces many false signals when market moves sideways, like other indicators. So, don't rely solely on this indicator. To filter out as many false signals as possible, we need to add additional indicators to our chart. It's called the EMA ribbon. This cool tool uses multiple exponential moving averages plotted on a price chart to help us identify the direction and strength of a trend in the market. The EMA ribbon is created by stacking several EMAs with different time periods on top of each other, making it look like a ribbon on the chart. If the ribbon slopes upwards, it means the market is in an uptrend, and if it slopes downwards, it means the market is in a downtrend. This indicator helps us spot potential buy or sell signals based on the trend direction and price location relative to the moving averages. Before discussing how we will utilize it, I need to modify the EMA ribbon indicator. Specifically, I will adjust one EMA period to 200 and change its color to white in order to get comprehensive understanding of the market's long-term trend. 
We will use EMA ribbon indicator in very simple way for this strategy. We will execute buy trades only when the market price is above the ribbons, and execute sell trades only when the market price is below the ribbon. Although this EMA ribbon indicator filters out a lot of false signals, there are still some left. That's why ChatGPT suggests using the Relative Strength Index as secondary confirmation tool. So, for the final step, we're going to add the RSI indicator to our chart to confirm our buy and sell signals. When using the RSI, we want to look for divergences between the price and the RSI reading, which can indicate a possible trend reversal. Now let's move on to the entry conditions for a buy trade the following must be met. First, the machine learning strategy must print a blue label. The price must be closed above the 200 EMA. The ribbon must also be above the 200 EMA. In addition to these, the candlestick must be green, and the price must pull back into the ribbon without closing below the 200 EMA. Lastly, the RSI should be in the oversold area. As soon as these conditions are met, we will enter a buy trade. To secure the risk management, you can set stop loss point below the recent swing low, and take profit target will be two times the risk. But don't forget to use trailing stop loss. As soon the trade goes in your direction, set the stop loss to the break even point to secure the trade and book the profits step by step. And the entry conditions for a sell trade is exactly the opposite of the buy trade. First, the machine learning strategy must print a pink sell label. And the price must be closed below the 200 EMA line. And the ribbon must also be below the 200 EMA line. In addition to these, the candlestick must be red, and the price must pull back into the ribbon without closing above the 200 EMA. Lastly, the RSI should be in the oversold area. As soon as these conditions are met, we will enter a sell trade. You can set stop loss point above the recent swing high, and take profit target will be two times the risk. And don't forget to use trailing stop loss. Now that we know all the rules for using this trading strategy, the only way to know if it's really effective is to backtest it. So, let's give it a shot and see how it performs. I executed 32 trades over a period of 70 days, using machine learning strategy. I had 25 wins and 7 losses, which is amazing success rate. During the backtesting phase we experienced some ups and downs, but as expected, our strategy delivered positive results. In fact, over the 70-day period, we saw a growth of 833% in profit. In order to put things into perspective, if we had started with an initial balance of $100 and traded 3% of our balance in each trade, we would have made a profit of $833. Adding this profit to our initial balance, our new balance would be $933. That's a significant amount of profit in just a few trades. Which is truly amazing. And if we had used the same strategy across multiple currency pairs, we could have made even more profit. So there you have it. Our trading strategy has proven to be highly effective and profitable. So that's it for today's video. Thank you for watching, hope you found it helpful. If you did, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to hit that bell icon too, because we upload Forex related videos every day, so you won't miss a beat. Happy trading!